with the Braves in the World Series. They beat us the first two at home. And, you know, and, and actually David Cohn was the lifeline for me. Uh, that may have been the best decision I made in the World Series, my first World Series in 96. And I had called David in and explain why I wanted him to pitch game three, because he certainly had the credentials to be a one or two guy. But I felt he was the only one that ever pitched it, uh, you know, in Atlanta. And, and, you know, not enough people know how, how the ball jumps there. But David, I, I knew he wouldn't melt away. I mean, he, he's, uh, yeah, he's got a lot going on that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. That left-handed bat. He wanted to get my bat in the lineup, too, in the <laughs> National League game. That game three, sixth inning, you're you're walking out to the mound, and you you get pretty close to David for reassurances. You tell him, you know, don't bullshit me. We need this game, sort of. And David David sold it. He later said that you know he he was lying, right? Uh, what what were you thinking though, Joe, as you turned back and walked to the dugout in that situation? Well, I knew he lied to me, but the one thing about <laughs> David, yeah, uh, he finds a way to get it done. And, and, you know, that's, that's the thing, David, you know, I'm all right. You know, I'm all right. You know, that's fine, but he'll find a way to be all right. I mean, that, that's just what I felt. I, I, I felt, you know, that's what I, that's what I think we're missing today, you know, cause everything has to be spelled out. I don't know if it's to, uh, I don't know, to make our game a perfect game, but it's not, but David Cohn has a, figure out a way to you know to make it happen uh, i mean you can fast forward to the met world series right bring him in to pitch to piazza uh, you know and he he winds up popping him up with a 80 something mile an hour fastball i mean it, it it's something about david that uh, is much deeper than you know than the ball that he throws david you go back to that mound conference and the first time he asks and you say you're good do you think all right that's over with and then what do you think of when he gets nose to nose with you yeah he wanted to make eye contact you know I, there's a couple of things that joe has done that, that i've never seen before from any manager and that was one of them that mound visit because usually starting pitchers that are in a jam they don't want to make eye contact i'm kind of looking down i'm looking up i'm around and joe made sure that he made eye contact with me and he says uh he says, I, I need to find out. Are you okay? And I say, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. He, he inched a little closer. He says, no, no, uh, uh, I need to know. This is too important. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. And then, you know, I'm looking down. He said, no, no. I, I, he gets closer and he we're almost nose to nose. And he wanted to look into my eyes. He wanted me to make eye contact with him. And so the third time he said, I need to know you're okay. And, you know, and that, just like that, there was no, there wasn't a lot of words. It was just it was very direct and right to the point. And we made eye contact and I said, yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I got this. And, you know, and, and to me, it was more about execution at that point. And, you know, this is the part where we're, we were trained that way. I was trained to, to trick myself. You had to, you had to trick, you had to lie to yourself almost. I'm tricking myself. Yeah. I can get Fred McGriff out. I have this pitch and this weapon and I'm going to go about it this way. And that's what I was consumed with. I wasn't consumed with, Again, maybe I'm fatigued. Maybe I'm getting tired. Maybe the matchup isn't great. No, that's that's not the way we were raised. Uh, you know, we were raised to, to trick ourselves first. So I joked afterwards and said, you know, I, I straight up lied to Joe Torre. You know, that was me being glib and in, in the aftermath, and you know, in, in the press conference. But the first guy you lie to is yourself. That's the way we were trained. You know, of course I can get Fred McGriff out. The bases are loaded. You know, this is the pitch I have to do it. This is the pitch I've been working on all year to be able to get him out, whether it was a splitter or, or whatnot. And, you know, that, that's the way we thought. So, yeah, the, the whole the whole part about lying to your manager, that was more of just being glib after a game, and, you know, trying to make copy a little bit, trying to help the writers. Yeah, well, and, and, and let, me, let me just put an exclamation point there. When he said, yeah, I'm all right, I, you know, I, 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 I had some doubts about that. But the next comment he just – talked about was I've got this now that that is the commitment right there uh, that you know yeah you've got this even though you're something less than you want to be but uh, that that's the part where you you, you probably uh, you know the trust factor uh, is so much more 